And so, radiocarbon dating suggests that birds' incredible Antarctic artifacts are not just hundreds or thousands of years old, but in fact they could be much older. But let's not forget, that radiocarbon dating is just a guess and is not an exact science. All this, I mean the received approximate dates of the artifacts, of course pushes what we know about human history to a completely different era. In addition, some artifacts and technologies found there threaten our very understanding of science. That is why these photographs and the accompanying documentary evidence were hidden for decades, so as not to sow mass panic among the population. Indeed in one of the interviews, Admiral Byrd himself emphasized, that what they encountered on the mainland could pose a threat to all of us. And here it is worth considering. I agree, these words can have an ambiguous meaning. But as we know, there is no smoke without fire. Further you will see, that the expedition not only found old ruined palaces, temples, obelisks and all kinds of monumental works of art, but they also found caves where tropical plants still grew, heated by mysterious sources of heat and light. They found what can be called otherwise as between spatial portals, which seemed to be sources of endless energy and through which, according to legend, some members of the expedition's past. Unfortunately, there is no access to documentary evidence of what lies on the other side of these portals, but perhaps in the near future this information will be made public. Although the history of human colonization of Antarctica is controversial, the fact remains. The evidence for the existence of ancient human civilizations is irrefutable, and the more it accumulates, the more convincing it becomes. From the total available collection of photos, I have chosen only a few, otherwise this video story would have turned out to be very long. I must also make a reservation that the photographs that you see, the faces of the expedition members, were erased. I believe you can guess why. In the first part, we will get acquainted with the found ruins. Have you ever wondered, why no one is allowed into Antarctica and no country as it were, owns, the continent? Unknown to almost everyone due to the incredible success of the official cover-up, Antarctica is actually littered with ancient ruins of all shapes and sizes. Particularly prominent are obelisks, pyramidal structures, temples with columns, geometric temple complexes, and more. Of course, all these architectural features, in many ways coincide with the stars in the night sky. Based on ancient secret writings, some researchers believe that this was the very lost civilization of Quatria. All that remains after the global catastrophe, is largely a ruin. Many pyramids and temple structures in Antarctica have obelisks as well as other unusual features such as ziggurats, and the temples themselves also vary in design. While some appear to be made of sandstone, others are made of granite, and many of them are decorated with stunning bar-leaves, depicting the events of the Quatrian Empire, and even have a map of the ancient world with Antarctica in the center. No wonder these incredible discoveries were completely covered up. If they got out, they would destroy the current world history, creating a completely different view of past events. All these and other photos, not included in this short video are really impressive. Looking at these ruins and the remains of monuments, one involuntarily compares with what is available on our continents. To the naked eye, the resemblance is obvious, which indicates a possible common past, because such structures are found almost everywhere. 